High school basketball continues around the region. First up, we head to Pikeville for a regular season 59th district matchup between the Pikeville Lady Panthers and the Eastridge Lady Warriors. Pikeville already has a win under their belt against the Warriors this season, defeating them back on January 20th. 65 to 41. Olivia Gearhart helping the Panthers move right along from the wing. Basket is good. Warriors looking to pick up a win on the road. Katie May driving to the basket makes it. Close game right here. Next Eastridge possession. Hannah Mullins wastes no time. Baseline drive. Count the basket. Panthers not finding anything on the outside on their next possession. So they go inside to Leslie Stewart. And it's nothing for her to pick up two points. Pikeville Savannah Nunemaker in control of the ball as she drives inside. The last minute decides to punch it out to Alexia Wilkerson in the pocket, and the Panthers put up three more. And then East Ridge's Brittany Tackett powers through Pikeville's defense, and here's another East Ridge basket. Final score from Pikeville High School: Pikeville 63, East Ridge 54. The McGoffin County Hornets travel to Hi Hat to face off with the South Floyd Raiders. A pretty even matchup tonight as the Hornets stand at 15 and 9 and the Raiders at 14 and 11. Getting the game going here, the Raiders work the ball around the perimeter and get it to big man Brady Kahn. He finished the game with 21 points. Makes the move over here. Back on the other side, Hornets have a big man of their own, Ryan Mullins. They get the ball inside to him, and he makes a strong move up and in for two points. Some good defense here from the Raiders as Jacob Collins jumps in the passing lane, tips the ball, and gets down the court for the easy break. 24 points for him, and then Jaron Lovely grabbing a rebound and is off to the races. He goes coast to coast and hits the tough floater, leading McGoffin County tonight with 35 points. Again, Jacob Collins with some good defense. He jumps in and steals another pass and takes it off on a fast break and scoops it off the glass for two points. This game went back and forth, but the Raiders pulled it out in the end. Final score, South Floyd 80, McGoffin County 